So I just finished up this uh, Honda 115 engine swap uh, on this boat. This originally had a 90 horse Mercury um, two stroke on it. So this Honda is extra long shaft and he had a long shaft engine on it. So I had to install this jack plate on the boat and then installed the Honda on the jack plate. I got the steering cable and stuff all rigged up. I got all the <laughs> the battery cables, the shift and throttle cables, the fuel line, the wiring harness, everything ran and plumbed through to the engine. Um, I had to remove this top over here, remove styrofoam inside that to run the battery side to the battery side and the fuel side. Um, so I hooked up the battery um, cable to his battery switch and then the routed the fuel line, hooked it up, connected it, all that fun stuff. Um, routed everything through here. Uh, and I got the control box all mounted and everything. I had to remove the seat out of the way so I could drill the holes and everything to mount the new Honda control box to it. Um, so new control, new shift and throttle cables, new connections. Um, new wiring harness, new everything. Got everything all tucked and looking pretty and stuff. And then after I did all that, then I uh, removed the steering wheel and I got the steering wheel where it's um, straight with the engine straight. But here, I'll turn it real quick. Turn super easy, no problems with that whatsoever. So I got it where when the steering wheel is straight, that the engine is straight too. Um, then I uh, drilled the hole and um, hooked up the hour tack meter. I wired everything up from inside there um, to the harness connections to the key switch or to the control box. So now when the key's on the light comes on in this and also it shows the uh, hours on there but with these style um, hour tack meters it's counting the hours even though the engine isn't running so there's less hours on the engine than what this reads because it continues to clock down the time with the key in the on position here um, everything's working perfectly fine up there's down it cranks over fine um i'll crank here Get the kill switch out of there so everything is working like it should put that back on there um he has an extra set of key like it's, it's a brand new control and everything so a lot of the time and a lot of labor went into this. I vacuumed the carpet and stuff to get all the metal shavings out from everywhere and all the styrofoam crap. So I, after doing everything, I vacuumed the carpet and stuff too. So this install is completely done. Oh, I also put this uh, split loom uh, tubing on there also just to make everything look nicer and neater and stuff. And so bring the engine up a little bit more so with it turned all the way one way that's what it looks like with it turned all the way the other way that's what it looks like so that's all the way one way and I'll tilt it up more too to show that everything is the way it should be So yeah, like I said, it's a lot of time from uh, removing the original engine and installing everything and running everything and all that fun stuff, but she's done. She's looking good. Everything's working like it should. So this one's good to go.